may the Lord bless and keep you. I was going through the comments and it is really surprising how many of us think so similar. <laughs> so pretty much what I saw and for the most part, many people were saying that what is going on is demonic. It is demons causing confusion, stirring up strife, trying to break down anything that is good, which is true because I was thinking that as well, but I was not quite sure if it was of God or if it was demonic, but I was pushing more on the demonic side. Let me tell you something that happened to me. Maybe a week ago, I was speaking to a person and this person was coming off in this very shady, not shady, but in this difficult way. And I am thinking, why is this person coming to me like that? <sighs> but either the next day, I forget, I was speaking to this person and I was looking at the person's facial expression and that person's mannerisms and from what I perceived, it was not that he was coming off in a difficult way. How can I say that? Maybe on that day, whatever happened, happened. But what he showed me that next day that it was not what I thought that it was. So what can you say? I perceived wrong. What else? The whole thing was a misunderstanding. So the situation with Freddie and those other people misunderstanding provoked by demons so let me say this and this came to my mind as well the situations with you and other people it is not so much that you or the other people are trying to be insulting or are trying to hurt you Perhaps what is going on, it is a misunderstanding. Perhaps you are perceiving the situation wrongly, like I did. I thought that that person that I was dealing with, I guess last week or so, I thought that that person was just being difficult but I perceived wrong, I assume. So don't be so quick to, this is why I tell you all to keep the door open because as humans, we are going to perceive wrong. In some point of our life, we are going to perceive things wrongly. We are going to take things wrongly. We are going to interpret things wrongly. So keep that door open. What I try to do, I try to get an understanding 
of the person that I am speaking to. So usually when I meet a new person, I am going to ask that person, if I am interested in speaking to that person, I am going to ask that person many questions because I want to know what type of personality that person has. So based upon their personality, I know what to say and what not to say, how to treat that person and, and how not to treat that person. So I will know that person's boundaries, but how things are, for some reason, <laughs> which is crazy, people try to hide their personalities, which makes absolutely no sense. If I am trying to learn about you, and let's say that I say something or do something to hurt you, and you are hiding your personality from me, not really telling me how you are or what your boundaries are, and let's say I say something that seems harmless to me, but to you, it is insulting. But at the same time, I am trying to learn of you, but you are holding yourself back. Kevin, what you said the other day is offensive. How would I know? <laughs> so if a person doesn't know you too well, what I am trying to say, my main point, keep the door open. Because misunderstandings are going to happen. Let me say this too back in late, I guess, late 2006 or mid-2006, I forget, maybe late 2006. This is a time when I was in sin, and I met this guy. And when I was with that guy, everything was cool. I am not gay. But when I was with that guy, everything was cool. And we got into an argument. Why? Because of a misunderstanding. So what I did the next day, it was a really bad argument. <laughs> really bad. I went to where he was and we talked. Once we received an understanding of how I was and how he is, no more problems. If there was a problem, it was not an issue because we received an understanding of each other. Kevin, I am like this, blah, blah, blah. Talk to me in this way, whatever, whatever. we received an understanding of each other. So we became the best of friends because I knew how to speak to him and he knew how to speak to me. He knew how to treat me and I knew how to treat him. So we became like really close. The only reasons that we aren't talking now, he lives way over somewhere else and I live east of him. So I pray that this makes sense. Misunderstandings. Don't let, listen, yes. What the devil wants, let me say this. What the devil wants is to divide people. I believe I told you all that God has given us gifts. What the devil wants is for us to be divided. What if I combined my teaching gift, I guess you can say, with your 
prophetic gift and with another person's gift to whatever and another person's gift to intercede or to pray really well. What if we came together as one? Do you know how powerful that would be? But what the devil wants, he wants us to be divided. So what he does is start confusion. And usually it is minor things too, man. Really small things to break people up. That is so foolish. And I have been foolish as well. This is why I say to keep the door open because, listen, when you are trying to do things for God, demons are going to be there too. So they don't want you to succeed. They want you to fail. I pray that this is making sense. Stop being divided. Yes, you may have an issue with me. I may have an issue with you. Whatever. If we work together, we are going to be much more powerful. So let me deal with you. Let you deal with me. And let's compromise. Not break up the whole thing. Yes, I can have my own ministry and you can have your own ministry. But what if we came together as one? Do you know how much more powerful that is going to be? Stop the division. No more division. Combine. I pray that this is making sense. So leave that petty stuff alone. At the first sign of an issue, don't run away. Well, Kevin, you just make me mad because I don't like it when you say that I need to change. You know, I already know I have to change. So who are you to tell me? Listen, man. Get rid of that pride. Yes, I know that your self-esteem is really low, so you don't like people telling you anything. I understand that. You need to get rid of that pride and come to God. I love you all, everyone. I don't care if I don't know much about you. I am commanded by God to love you. Well, Kevin, that sounds crazy. Listen, I am not going to hell because I refuse to love you. That is crazy. I love you. And I always will. So let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you share and subscribe. God bless you.